Yo, what's good? Everyday superpower where we talk game, body language, human dynamics, relationships, everything in between. Two links in the description. One of them will take you through to YouTube playlist, which will give you uh, the tools needed to read people through their body language. Second to that is the Patreon, as to where we will watch videos together. I will show you attraction and repulsion body language. No matter where you are in the world, you'll never forget it, right? Boom, let's go. So today we are going to talk about trying to run game on a woman. What do I mean by that? What What do you mean by run game? Well, can you not talk slang? I don't get it. When I say run game, I mean when you're trying to psychologically manipulate this woman into liking you through maybe applying an air of mystery to your character by responding in a particular way, uh, trying to seduce the woman in a way you've learned elsewhere or what's worked for you in the past trying to be indirect trying to create a direction for your relationship and communications in an indirect and underhanded manner that's running game right let me read the note i've put i have put um if you're trying hard to run game you're a try hard and you're contrary to attractive right so I'm around people with money at this moment in my life and I've come from a position where I've not had money, right? So now I'm in this new space, I'm starting to see a different level of communication between man and woman as to which I never have done before. And this is the man flaunting his wealth, flaunting his money and what he can buy and how he can provide for this woman uh, in the material realm in trade of her attention time and sexual attention basically that's the end end goal and the woman identifies that and the woman doesn't respect the man for that because she ends up with the material possession and she might hang around for a moment, but you best believe that relationship isn't as beautiful as what these red pillars would tell you by saying, just get rich, bro. Oh, when you get money, all the women run to you. Yeah, they run to you, but not for you. They look at you as a foolish, childish, beta male who happens to have come across money, but still pedestalizes the woman in top position and allows her to lead which isn't the natural biological way of doing things. She needs to chase you, not you chase her and peacock your wealth to her. It, it just does not work like that. But we can apply this to so many different realms. So let me just reread what I've put. If you're trying to trying hard to run game, you're a try hard and contrary to attractive. Yeah, so even if it was on the verbal game, right? If you're nonchalant and you don't care of the outcome, then you're natural and poetic with your words. Your words are like music, like gorgeous musical notes. Whereas if you're intentionally trying to run game by using particular tones or patterns of speech or lines that you've used before or heard elsewhere, it's going to be very forced. And... We're not here trying to chat up five-year-olds, believe it or not. We're trying to chat up adult women. And these adult women have had so much experience at this point with, oh my gosh, thousands and thousands, if not tens of thousands of men. Take it onto social media, call it 100,000 men. You tell me the numbers, right? Do you not think she's naturally going to identify the fact you're overcompensating to try to appease her? Do you not think that? And you have to be a real crazy guy to be able to pull it off because she is biologically hardwired to sense a non-congruence from who you are and how you're communicating, right? She identifies that it's her biological hardwiring to ensure that she is safe and sound as the fairer sex. Yeah, so I'm speaking game here and I'm going to go into a couple of different tangents on different videos in regards to this, such as how you can't really succeed 
for a length of time with a woman whom you perceive as a higher value than you, even outside of your awareness. If you, outside of your awareness, understand your role uh, in the dating market and know where she is positioned, right? You're never ever going to have that relationship last because you are unconsciously going to showcase and amplify and accentuate the differentiation between both of your positions in this hierarchy. And she's going to start to see you for what you are as you see her for what she is. And then we could go on to the next one and talk about the money game and how the money game is overrated. It's all overrated. The fitness game is overrated. The money game is overrated. Because if you don't have a true character of understanding yourself and where you've come from and what you've achieved and what you're made of and what you can do and that's through proving to yourself then you're always going to come across as plastic to these women it might work momentarily but it does not work for the long run that's facts that's facts it's facts man it's facts so when you say, oh, I'm going to game that woman, blah de blah and you go up and you start doing this and that, by default, you're already going up to her, you're running game to her, she should be trying to run game on you, you see how this is, this is the same thing as the passport bros thing, we're all going abroad to go and meet women, what? Of course they're going to use and abuse you and get you robbed and set up and use you for your riches just as the western woman would, because she's biological hardwired to do so, you idiot. You're just finding somebody who's got less and sees you as having more. So you're sort of re-leveling the playing field in regards to your actual value, who you are, and it's not much. I'm going to continue talking. Let me have a think of where we go from here, right? Because I've lost my train of thought. So I've stayed. If you're trying hard to run game, you would try hard, right? You should never be trying hard because these things should be natural. And <coughs> and if they're not natural, that is a pinpoint of where you stand. The whole world is your mirror, right? As a man, you don't see yourself from who you are and who you perceive yourself to be. You see yourself through the eyes of others, through the reactions of others, how others react to you in that particular time, space and moment. Yeah? Makes sense? So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being conscious and aware and having a baseline understanding of the more efficient and effective ways of communicating with people. That's power to you. But when you overdo it, when you over accentuate it for the sake of appeasing somebody, it will be identified. And if it isn't identified from the start, as I spoke of, give it a couple of weeks you know what I mean, if not days, and that person will have had enough time with you to subconsciously assess and recognize the patterns of who you are and how you react to certain stimuli and how you communicate generally speaking as a whole and as to whether they see it as the reality of you or not, they will identify and understand you, right? And let's say people don't, that doesn't matter. The lesson here is don't do it and don't fall into the trap of having to feel like you need to run game anyway. You don't need to because you want to be in a position as to where your natural character attracts, yes? You don't want to go out there and try to attract. You want to attract, remove the middleman, remove the smoke and mirrors and the gas, yeah? You need to work on yourself. And I know it's self-help. Oh, just work on yourself, blah, blah, blah. Bruh, these women, if you find them attractive and you want to have more women in your life, especially better looking women and those whom are perceived as higher value, you need to accomplish more and more and more and establish a system as to where you are developing and creating momentum as a man in your career, 
in your finances, in your health and wealth, all across the board, you need to have progressive moving momentum where you're learning lessons, where you're failing and you're just creating this ongoing compounding interest of information and life experience that you can effectively lead this woman in a way she's never been led before. Yeah, this isn't manufactured game. You're not manufacturing this. You're creating this with substance and a sturdy, solidified foundation. There's a difference because I can take this from woman to woman to woman and be the same and attract nonetheless to a certain tier, to a certain degree until I progress myself onwards and create a more substantial effect to the women who are above and beyond, right? This is progressive momentum and if I like you as a man wouldn't mind more attention from beautiful women in my life then it's a great driving force that libido is a fantastic energy to redirect and transmutate into a different direction one of progression in my life's purpose and when I start to achieve my life's purpose, I create myself a different character, naturally. That's some game. This is real life. Click like and subscribe. Peace.